we have missed out on something. You know, because sometimes they say, I love that shit. But sometimes you might say something that's, what? It's, sometimes when they say something like, what? Why do I even, this shit crazy though, man. You know, I can, <laughs> I can say whole goes for his verse. The whole verse is what, but it's banging though. I know it by heart. Mm -hmm. So would that tell you, right? Well, you know what I mean? <laughs> right, right. You know what I'm saying? So, example of but if we, right, like, coming through Wu Tang was great for him. The word, that's why we get that joke. Buck would have been picking that verse apart, like, fuck is you talking about? <laughs> you know, that's how we, what are you talking about? And it, it never came out, because he the boss. It would have never came out, and we'd have missed out on the joke. You know what I mean? That's why certain niggas ain't meant to, they where they at. You know what I mean? Like, for real. So I, I realized that shit. Like, it probably wouldn't be an old, dirty bastard fucking with Buckshot. He like, what? This nigga screaming this shit? Get this. You know what I mean? That's just how, not the diss, because, again, I love old dirt. You know what I mean? But if he was boot camp, we y'all have missed out on that joke. That's what I, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. If he was, Buck wouldn't have signed that. He, he just be like, nah, that shit crazy. We have never heard that shit. That album was wild. I love that shit. Yo, First, they, Buck would never, shit, and I'm not trying to diss, I'm not, like, shit. again, I ain't trying to diss Wu-Tang. Truth nah. is truth. But when I guess that's hey, they more successful than us. You gotta let that shit go sometimes. You kinda trust it, man. Like Buck with a toy in the parcel and it never came out. He be like, what are you talking about? What are you yelling? What the fuck is that? Yeah, yeah. Buck is strict. Like we didn't even um we couldn't even punch in on our first album. No punches. You that's wrote it, you wrote it, say it. Punching is a luxury. That's like uh some real boot camp shit. Like he's training yeah. you to be real rappers. So when you gotta go on stage, right. you all the way got it. Right. So he was doing you a favor with that. No, no, Even no, though doubt. It's a pain no in doubt, no doubt. That is a pain in the ass. You have to do it the hard way. There's an easy way to do this and it'll be the same, but you have to do it the hard way. You gotta be like, right. oh, come on. By the man. second album, I can punch in. But by the second album, I was so tired of that first method, I learned to one take it. I ran my round the night before, get them like, yeah. <laughs> like, I'm out. Like, you still do shit one take? You still do shit one take? I'm pretty quick. I probably get twelve out, but like I and then do the other four, I'm like ah, peace, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? That's respectable though. A lot of people go one bar at a time these days, you know? You know what? I've heard people I've heard um producers and engineers that let you say your verse. And then make you say it again, bar for bar. Just to get the, that's the technique. The full emphasis. Yeah, that's the technique. It more, you know, or, that's a technique. The guy who, there's a difference between technique and the guy who need to do, right, it's a difference. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Right. Like, you do your verse, you'll listen, and you'll be like, all right, say it again, bar, 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 boom, boom, nope, say it like that. Like, listen to this one. I right, say it like that, you know what I yeah. mean? Right. Can't hate on the technology though, because yeah, like yeah, you were yeah, saying yeah. about Wu Tang, if they had cleaned everything up, then we wouldn't have got some we of that beautiful got that, shit. Right. So it, like t that with technology, like, you don't use the technology. I don't think. Some of this great I shit don't think. Be. Respectfully, again, RZA is one of the best. We'd have missed out on Jewel. I don't think RZA could have been a beat miner. They'd have been like, "Yo, what the fuck is that? That's off. Why that sound like that?" Because that's how they are. Respectfully, I fucks with the beat miners. They made my career. I fucks with the beat miners. You know what I'm saying? So did they do the whole first album? They did 95 percent of it. I think I had like two other Buckshot, Lord Jamal, That's and uh, Sean period. J. Period. Oh, okay. East West from Jersey, and East West from Alcoholics. The rest, that's four. The other 14, 13, 12 was all B minus. Yeah. You still got new uh, beat miner songs? You still rap on their beats? Um, I rapped on something a year ago. I don't know what happened to it, but you know what? They got a nice technique. Them and I haven't worked with 88 keys yet neither. It's not because um 88 keys. You know what I'm saying about it? He's the fuck you got. So, right. So he goes, huh? Rob to this. And it's a drum. I need to be a little. And I've, he'd done it with Tech before. Tech actually rhymed to the drum, and when he, we heard it back, it was some dumb shit. This was incredible. I, I can't do that. I need a little bit more than that. 
That's my only problem. I gotta adapt to his shit. I know it's gonna come out dope. I just gotta get over it. I gotta drop more. And then he adds shit to it. And then he just creates around it, and it's, it's beautiful. That's what he, that's what he did with us. I don't know if he did it to everybody, but when he did it with Tech, it came out dope. So. I like working like that, to be honest. I like that, 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 that was, was kind of crazy. Acapella. You just get a great acapella, and then... I wouldn't do the acapella. Well, I mean... Cause they, you they, know what? I hate when people remix my song with different beats. This is my version. Even if it sound good, I wouldn't have jumped on it that way. You always hear something. The best not- thing for you to do to ask me to come in, I'll do it. But come in and say that verse over on that beat. Because, you know what I mean? I'll put it more in pocket. It's never in pocket. I think one person, two people did that that I like. Ninth Wonder and my man Dan the Man. The rest of that shit be sound like a nasty blend. Like a nigga, like some nigga trying to impersonate Ron G or something. <laughs> you know what I mean? Well, you know, your nasty version of Ron G, not the real Ron G. I love that shit, but you know, right. So, yeah, I, I, that shit is hard to do, especially with mom. Cause, you know, I like, I jump in certain places. Even though it's on point, I probably wouldn't have jumped on it like that. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. I know I wouldn't have jumped on it like that. So it bothers me. It might not bother y'all. So I keep it to myself, but like, I wouldn't have did it like that. You ever get mad at someone else? Like, yo, what the, that's not how I spit it. Um, I've done a song with somebody and my verse was cool. You know, it was cool. And the guy verse was cool, like whatever. And then by the time it come out, I'm like, yo, what you do? You ruined it. Like, the version I got that I sent you, that I kept my little version of my iPod, I, I would have owed 300 some gig shits. I put everything in there, every, that's, that's my backup now. Everything is in that little shit. So I'm saying, I go back on like, this is the version I got. I got a section, features, keep them all. Like, what the fuck you do to that? Yo, how, how you ruin that? Me and your verse could have just came out like that right then. Like, you're doing too much. It was, it's crazy. Did you put it off beat or just It just was fucked much? up. I was like, yo, listen, that's the worst song I've ever been on this year, bro. I just want you to know that. Yo, what's the worst song you've ever been on of all time? Oh, you ain't here yet. But I got some bad ones. Though. <laughs> yo, I'm, I'm not, and I'm, look. I'm probably fucking my money up <laughs> saying this. <laughs> Sometimes, like, don't don't be surprised if somebody goes, yo, fuck you, P. You took my money, you ain't write my verse. I've been getting around to it. It's just not good. I know which ones I ain't do yet. Sometimes you didn't give me a beat, I write it right there. Bing, bing, you see me do math features in. Uh, two, three at a time. And then it might be one I'm in here for nine hours writing one. Like, Jesus. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Take a break. <laughs> but the good songs are usually the ones that come. You know what naturally. I mean? That you, don't have to you, know, you write eight bars, you know? Start feeling like homework or some shit. Like, the fuck, yo? Mm-hmm. You know? And sometimes it'd be me. Like right now, I'm hungry. So after I eat, get a little energized. And like I said, I just wrote an eighth ball in my head. But I'm mm-hmm. right, so I'm still the mom. That's this is different, but that them shits with that thing, they're so bad. Look, I had a feature was so bad, I went and downloaded the J Arms instrumental and found the uh, instrumental that was the same like speed and wrote it to an instrumental and then went in there and did it. I thought it was crazy. I was like, trust me, I didn't write it to your beat. <laughs> I wanted to sub your tempo, and then you know what I mean. Yeah. Placement. <laughs> so that's kind of like doing your own little blend. When well, no, I, I sent the verse over to the to the corny beat. I just had nothing. I couldn't write to it. It's so bad. I got you. I got around to it. Yeah. Right. So I wrote to a beat that's the similar tempo. So, instrumental. It would be a fucking uh, juvenile record. I don't give a fuck if it's banging. And the same tempo as the one. I write to it and then lay my verse down. They'll be like, yo, it's fucking dope. We're like, it is, but trust me, it wasn't because, you know what I mean? Fuck it. I mean, I'm from Brownsville, man. Um, yo, some of the songs be horrible. A nigga might go, yo, P, 
I only got seven hundred dollars. Can you do the verse? I'm like, yeah. I'm from Brownsville. I don't know a nigga who makes seven hundred dollars legally a day. You know, I know niggas who make way more than seven hundred dollars a day, but I sleep better. Yeah, you know what's that last? You know. Right. I mean, you know, it is what the game is. The game. I ain't knocking it, but I sleep better. Mm -hmm. There's nothing wrong with taking a little bit of internet money here and there. Right. You know? I sleep better. I sleep better. That's it. You yeah. know what I mean? You down to do this little interview shit now? Yes. Fuck it. Just do it now. Wait, hold up. Uh, we're bringing right. back George, man. <laughs> I want to have this conversation. She's bringing back George. We got to a movie, man. Yeah, I want to put. I want to put this in there. We got to bring back the Gene shorts. Yeah, George. Yeah. That's what I call him, George. Three, two, one. George. One second. Ah. Sean Price interview. Take and go. I'm ready to go. What were you saying about jean shorts, though? Uh, I said we need to bring back George, man. <laughs> you got rid of all of yours? All of them, man. And now everybody wears those, man. I'm tired of looking like everybody, man. I fell for it. I'm bringing back jean shorts. I don't give a fuck what nobody said. Who <laughs> paid? <laughs> You heard it first. Right. So, yo, when did you... Uh, King of the George. You, you can rap. <laughs> yeah, I can rap. I can rhyme a little bit. When did you first start rhyming? Uh, I don't have a date. But what happened was, um, you know, I was like everybody else. You listen to music, you tape shit. You know, my friend, we memorize people rhymes. And then it went from just memorizing people rhymes and saying them to Weird Al Yankovic and like make a funny <laughs> verse and change some words around, you know what I mean? And then it went from that to rap, mm -hmm. like writing my own verses, you know what I mean? But um, me and my brother Illinois, we used to tape the radio. But then, as he said, I turned bad. I started doing things in the street that that wouldn't allow me to stay in the house. Friday to fucking tape some rap music, you know what I mean? And he kept going, but I would come check him. He, you know, I'd make a dub of his shit up, I'd listen to it. And like I said, we was with Al Yankovic. So my, he heard Mecca and the Soul Brother, like, before me. Mm -hmm. And it was, I forgot what, what um, Son said in the verse. But he acted like he wrote it. And like he studied the CL line, it was CL smooth. And to go from Weird Al Yankovic to talking about Mugu, Guy Pan, and all kind, I was like, how the fuck you do that in the week, man? I was just, <laughs> damn. He tricked me. You know, later on, he, he let me know. He didn't try to front. Like, after he seen out my head, but he said, nah, son, I got this from this record right here. But that shit wanted me to rhyme. It made you After like see like, once you saw someone like, you new did doing that? it, you're like, it's possible. You did that? Watch what I do. And then I've been really start rapping ever since. True story. Were you always I mean, were you always dope? Or was there a point where you became dope? I mean dope is an acquired taste, but when I was I when I thought I was cool. Mm, I wrote this rhyme. You know what I mean? I was trying to do my best in my mind, my Best Coogee rap impersonation. And that shit sounded great. <laughs> pop, pop, two shots to the head, kid. You're kind of deaf that you could have said the feds did. That was my first round. <laughs> I was like, woo! I thought it was nice. I tried to first hit G rap. Pop, pop, two shots to the head, kid. <laughs> Type of deaf that you could have said the feds did. Know what I mean? Right, right, right. You know, you know that flow, that tree rap shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that was my first. Pop, pop, two shots to the head, kid. The type of stuff you could have seen the best did. Better look next time. Never be date mine. Keep it line, put the mind, put the tech down. Yeah, yeah. I was one of those shits. I was one of those shits. That was your first rhyme? That was my first rhyme, yeah. So you, are, you always kind of had it. Like, right, you right. Always, always made, right, you always make right. some shit through this. Close to your favorite. Right, 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 right. So I was like, yeah, I was doing my best G rap impersonation. That's what's up. Shout and, out to G rap. And then I did my best Red Man impersonation. And, Jersey. And then I figured out me. It's like Ray Charles. Remember the movie? Dude, like, yo, he sound like such and such. <laughs> now he sound like such and such. I ain't hired you to sound like that. I hired you to, what's Ray Charles? So yeah, I had to find what's Sean Price.
Now people try to sound like you. Wow. You, you know what? Some people do. I hear it sometimes. I created things that I get. I don't get. Um, I'm not even going. Trust like, me, I know about all that. Right. I created. I've created styles that I get no recognition for. It's all good though, man. As long as it, I just, I know what I did. That's it. I can live with that. I don't, I don't scream like, yo, fuck that. I, I, I created that flow. Nah, I'm cool with that. People know what's up. I'm, I'm, people know what's up. I'm the, you know what I mean? Like, you say what you want about your flow, just understand I'm probably mayor that. I'm the White Lotus. I taught you that. All right? Do you care, uh, do you care what people think of you? Nah. Not at all? Nah, but, uh, but I am emotional. Like, I don't care if you don't like the record. Like I said, I'm, I'm from a different era where, like I said, me and F mad at each other. We can yell. He cursed me out. He just certain shit I wouldn't say. I wouldn't tell him to suck my dick. Or call him a cocksucker or shit <laughs> like I'm not, and vice versa, we don't do that. Mm -hmm. Nah, I've never, I've never did long bids and then wild stretches in jail, but my time in jail, I do know saying certain things that will get you killed or cut very, very bad. You know what I mean? So, like, I refrain from them kind of statements. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? No online or offline. You know? It's the same thing, basically. You still said it about someone, even though you typed it. You know, right, right. right so, I, you know, I try not to say anything online I wouldn't say in a motherfucker face. You know it's what I mean? way to be. Right, so. You know, sometimes, like, you know, like, this mother suck my dick, this guy, I get mad. I'm like, fuck you. Then I'll say the wildest shit to him after that. Because you open the gate. So what I say after, because <laughs> you just open that gate. I, like, I don't go there. See, if you was in my face, you know, I'm not saying I, I would have swung on you. I would have punched you. I tried to knock your head off, you know, whether I win or not. I'm going to go for it. You know, if you talk to me like that, I'm swinging on you. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Right. So, so you, you care what people think of your... I don't care what people think. I just don't like people talking reckless to me. That's all. Mm -hmm. You don't have to like the record. It ain't for everybody. I don't want... That's why I feel special. I don't want all y'all to get it. It's a select few. I don't want to fuck with y'all. Y'all want to fuck with me. Right. You um, I heard you say you're the brokest rapper you know and a yeah. couple of shit like that. No doubt. It's true. Yeah. I'm getting money though, but yeah, you know what I mean, just, yeah. It costs a lot to be a bum. That's that's a jewel. Man. I like that man. That's a jewel right there. Yeah. Being a bum is expensive. Right. So uh, how'd you end up with Duck Down? I've been with Duck from day one. You know what I mean? Um, Smith and Wesson. I guess again, like I told you on the ride, I knew, I knew the whole crew forever. We all from around the way except Tech. I met him in high school. Right. And I'm 43 now, so right, that's how long I know him, right. Um, we, we was Deceps. From Deceps. Um, we had a crew before we called ourselves Boot Camp. We had another name called MOST. <laughs> uh, most organized, the most organized sound troopers. <laughs> it was a music crew or more of like a street? <laughs> no, that was our rapping. Oh, all right. <laughs> that was our crew. That was the clique. You know what I mean? Most. MOST. You don't talk about that. I was the last member. Tell us a little bit about the Deceps. Like what that is? I mean, you know what that is. We did stupid shit as kids, you know what I mean? That sometimes I can't sleep right. So you say- I wanna advocate violence. You know, you can look it up. You know, um, I did a lot of dumb shit. Some shit I can live with, some shit I have to live with. You know what I mean? Um, right. Rest in peace, Rick French. You know what I mean? Yeah. You know, so we were DSAP and uh, then we was, um, you know, MOST, and then Buck got a deal. Actually, when Buck got a deal, I was in prison. I remember seeing Buck and still, 
on TV in the day room <laughs> on Records Island. I'm like, oh shit, who got the props was out? Now I guess it's Robert Daniels interviewing him. I seen Steel, I'm like, oh shit, that's my son. You know, Steel was rhyming in high school. You know what I mean? So he was the, he was the one. Like still, like Buck is the Buck is like my boss, my manager. You know what I mean? And Paul A. Wong from Dugdale. You know he put us on, but still is the leader of the boot camp play. General. Yeah, he's yeah. You know what I mean? But Buck is the boss. But that's the leader of the boot camp. Gotcha. Right. He put us all down. Right. So you say that uh, he influenced you a little bit? I mean, I wanted to impress him, if that's what you mean. Yeah, hell yeah. Right, 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 right. Um, Are there still people on the planet that you want to impress? Or you're nah, like, I don't give a fuck about this shit, no. I don't give a fuck. Because I've, I've impressed, I've got salutes from the people I needed salutes from, so. It don't matter if you like me after that. That's what's up. Right. You know, if you do, cool. If not, cool. Like, don't give a fuck. You know, so, yeah, but um, that we, uh, Buck put Steel and Tech on, and the label they was on, they didn't, I guess it didn't work out for them how they wanted to, so it was our turn to get signed. They didn't want that for us. So they got a Drew Buck again. They went and got a label deal. So it was dug down priority. They saw me and, o and helped scout the OGC, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Yeah, and then eventually they got out their contracts or wherever they was at and came over there with us too. So it was family, right? What's up? Yeah, 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 yeah. Shout so. out to Duck Down. That's how, you know, this shit basically happened. Yeah. Shout um, out to them. Yeah. One thing, can you uh, re-hook that? Yeah. I mean, it's still picking it up, but it's just better. Stupid nigga. Stupid <laughs> <laughs> So do you like being interviewed? No. <laughs> <laughs> Not right what now. do you hate about interviews? <laughs> I didn't say I hate it. I just oh, said I don't like it. My bad. What so, hey, it's a big question. The whole thing before it's, it's like, don't like it, don't go for me. Don't like to hate. It's, uh, My it's, bad. I, I hate journalists to you. So, um, you hate interviews. John Price hates interviews. You know what it is? Actually, this is a good interview. Thank you. But you know what I hate? I, I'm not even going to say it. I hate press days. I don't even, I do like interviews. I don't like press days. You know, your album come out and 10,000 websites come. After like the fourth interview, it's all the same shit. And then it all goes up on all the different sites. That's and it goes it. up, yeah. it's the same shit. And the fans read it after the second time. They don't right. need to read it on all 10 sites. Right. Every now and then you might say something a little different, but it's basically the same shit. Yeah, I never really planned So, on you know, now that I think about it, it's press days. Right. Kiss is whack. Yeah, someone told me, Breezy told me, he's like, oh, he hates blogs. He hates doing interviews. I was like, that's going to be awesome. I can't wait to ask him some questions. Yeah, now that I remember, but I really sitting thinking about it, it's not that. It's just yeah, those yeah. press days. Press days. Because, you know, even, like, back we used to do, like, they would rent a place for me to go. There'd be a bunch of people, video like this. You know, the first one, like, if you first, that might be the best one. You know, that's the extra virgin olive oil, the first press. You know what I mean? Right. After that, it gets weaker and weaker as, the, as you write. You know what I mean? So, you know, note to self. If you get assigned to a press day, you do a press day, try to be there first. You'll get the best. I think that for any artist. Mm -hmm. Don't be number 19. They might have an attitude, might, but this guy's a dick. He ain't really a dick. He's tired of monotonous questions. He's like this by now, by the time you get to him. So try to be first. Yeah, yeah. Let that be a note to all y'all. Be first. All the up-and-coming people. Right, because that guy number eight, number 13 in them, mm -hmm. they might be leaving out going, this guy's a fucking asshole. <laughs> I'm not an asshole. You, I'm just, I, I hate to abuse you. It ain't your fault. But you just asked me what the other 12 did. <laughs> so now my, my answer is like, fuck out of here, man. Yeah, do it because whatever, man. You know what I mean? Like, I'm tired of the repetition bullshit. Totally. Right. So, do it first. Come. Right. Do it first. Remember, make, keep a note, make a note of that. Go first. That's different. You going, yo, it was a good interview from this guy's a fucking asshole, man. Fuck you. I don't even fuck with this nigga. He's <laughs> disrespectful. 
I'm undoubtedly. It ain't really your fault. You're not. I'm just put, taking it out on you. I'm so I apologize. I see the error of my ways right now. This is a great interview, bro. It's like therapy, man. I see the error of my ways. I apologize. Anything you want to talk about? Uh, when I was coming downstairs, I noticed I needed to clip my toenails. Because I hit the, the side of the bed, and just one piece came up like this. It was like this. But it's still big now. I'm like, damn, this shit look like my feet look homeless shelter. You know what I'm saying? So I gotta clear my toenails. What the mug? I really do. When I get home. <laughs> Why are you laughing, man? <laughs> this is funny as I can relate to that shit. <laughs> All right, I mean, see, I wanna add, do, give answers like that. Like, these are real life things. Like, yeah. if I go to this hippity hop shit, hey man, I'm in the studio, bro. I like red candles, dim lights. Like, I ain't one of them niggas, man. So when you're in the studio and you're creating your musical mastery, what do you like to do to create the environment? Right, put them. I have my Ouija board. <laughs> my prayer rug. Like, get the <laughs> fuck <laughs> out of here. Incense, a box of mangoes. <laughs> like, I ain't one of them niggas, man. You know what I mean? <laughs> but you like to keep a little beer, a little weed around, whatever? Oh, definitely drugs. Um, something to snack on. I'm cool with that. You know what I mean? And, <laughs> and a convo. In between the working, I'm cool. After that, I'm cool. Like, That's right? the best shit because the conversation tends to turn. You, know, you never to know. Rhyme, yeah, right, you know? right. So, talking about George Papadopoulos and right. like, boom, right. talking about Balky. This shit is up in the rap. <laughs> <laughs> right, right. I don't know why the fuck. Like I, like I told you earlier with that. Uh, I said it earlier, right? Yeah. Did I say it about the Rock Creek? Or do we do it in there? You ain't taping. No, let's do it again. Oh, the uh, Fighting Forester. Yeah. Yeah, you can talk about it here. Yeah. I got that. Like, I would never, ever have writer's block. I'll have bad rhymes, but I won't have writer's block. It was a movie, um, Finding Forrester, with Sean Connery. I've seen that. And um, the kid, he was teaching the kid, you know what I mean, how, how to write. You know, he was a writer and all that. And he said, why well, you write so good? He said, he grabbed the paper and just put it in the typewriter. Like, just write, whatever. The first draft should have no thought, just, I'm like, wow. And then uh, you hear, that's when you hear songs like that for me, like figure four, where the first word is a bar, Botswana. I wrote that on the paper. Um, Stetson Sonic Apartheid record, was, I had just heard it, you know, and, well, somebody was playing it, I ain't had it in a long time, so I was like, oh, I remember this. Botswana, so let us speak about the motherland, you know what I mean? Like, I'm like, woo, I remember this shit. <laughs> so when my son had to be, he kept pooping. Botswana. Small time Little League player, Pop Warner. And I, I said, mm hmm, Pop Warner. My man Jimmy. Uh, I wrote Pop Warner, I wrote, oh yeah, small time Little League player, Pop Warner. <laughs> <laughs> and that was it after that. Ron Corley, we nine lunch. That was it. Once I caught those, I like, oh, that's it. Oh, this is stupid right here. You know what I mean? And I literally, actually, one of the, um, my man Dan, and we saw him on in the car, Shockley, one of the Shockleys was there. Mm -hmm. um, I forget the first name. I remember he right. said Shockley. From hey. Public Enemy. <laughs> he was at the studio. Oh, for real? Yeah, he was talking to Cute. Dan. I went in there and mm -hmm. did, I one taped it, the Fox whole song. Warner. Both verses. One take the first verse, and I one take the second verse. There's no hook, I right? Did a you double. talk some shit in the middle. I pop shit, <coughs> and I did it. Dan cleaned it up, and I sent it to Don Wright. Because I said their name in the verse. You know, that's my one of my favorite websites, so I spent their name in the verse. They debuted it. It was fucking everywhere, man. That's yeah, my man, uh, Jimmy, did the video. Yeah, Jimmy, yeah. Big up Jimmy. Jimmy G. Yeah. Shout out to him. And yeah, uh, Jimmy played that. That was a big part of it too. Cause when I gave it out, it was just buzzing on websites. Soon as like it got it died down, I sent now right the video. When the video came out, then uh, my man DJ Enough, he heard it. He actually playing a hot ninety seven. I was like, wow, you know what I mean? Like, I literally got a whole extra tour for a year off one ass song. Like I cannot lie. I went on, I toured again. I'm like, damn, I just, 
Like, fuck it. Not bad. And it was all inspired by Finding Forrest? Yeah, 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 yeah. Like, that's what, you see those rhymes where I'll just be like, one word, and it sounds like a random word. Mm -hmm. But that's just what I wrote on the paper and downloaded from that. Know, what, know that I wrote that one word and downloaded the rest after that. It just, that's the technique, you know what I mean? So like I said, I'll never have writer's block. I'll have bad rhymes, but I won't have writer's block. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. See? TV works sometimes, man. That's what's up. That's yeah. some great advice. Yeah. So what uh what do you listen to when you what are you fucking with now? Uh you know man, I'm 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 old school man, you know, I listen to, uh I got Stephanie Mills greatest heads and shit. Um I have the whole Willie Hutch, all of his music. I've been real heavy into this Willie Hutch shit lately. Um You sample any of it? Nah, nah, just for who knows? But I don't I'm not one of the guys gonna listen to records for the you know what I mean? I just listen to the music. If I happen to hear that, you know, like, I'm, I'm new to it. So I hear something like, yo, son. He'd be like, man, 20 people use that shit. Fuck out of here. You know what I mean? That's why I need PF. You know, I'm new to it. But I listen to something, I'm like, oh, yo, son, what's that? Oh, man, what's your name use that? Don't do that. Man, fuck if what's your name did that. Man, I want to do it, too. <laughs> you know, sometimes we got those. Sometimes I'm like, yeah, that is corny. Too many people. You know what I mean? But... You gotta do a better or a different. You right, know? better if you if you can't leave it alone though. You're right. So in my mind, if I think I can't, you know, like I said, I'm still new. So, but I have yeah, ideas. I, mean, I have ideas. It's coming. It's working out. But I just listen to shit like that. Um, I like car. You ever heard of car? Old music. No, new music. Rap. You ever heard of car? Yeah, no, he's good. He got a new album called uh, Days with Yen Lo. And every song is a day. Day oh, day zero, day 81. This shit's just fucking retarded, man. This is awesome. You know, I've never heard, like, it's an album. I've never heard a guy rhyme and don't use, like, the, no drums damn there. And I'm still bopping to it. And, you know, he's grown. He's a grown man raps. The same. I don't even, I mean, I want to sell a lot. But it ain't really for y'all. It's for me. That album is for me and my kind. I don't think it's for y'all kind. Like, I'm just being honest, but I wish everybody catch on. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? I want to sell as many as you can, but it ain't for y'all. It's for me. Mm -hmm. He's not. You wouldn't want him to change to try to make I'm, it for them. I mean, probably. I don't think he would. I asked him, look, he doesn't do features. I asked him to get on the song. He didn't say no. He just say, son, I, when I write, like, I write, it takes, I'm, like, see, I might look something up, and I might, and I'm, but I'll get it done today. He the type that do that, and it takes... Weeks, months. Maybe. Yeah. I've seen a jizzler say that sometimes he takes months to write a song, his verses. And when you listen to him, it sound like, it, you know what I mean, respectfully. So he's one and up. So he might, if I get it done by then, I'll get it to you. But if not, understand. His method, I'm like, no doubt. Yeah. You know what I mean? So, he's a cool dude, came to my house, we talk. Mm -hmm. Good guy, man. You usually, you know I mean? um, when you write the verse, you usually get it done that day and record it, or sometimes you take I get it done and record it. I've, sometimes, I'll be too fucked up. I'll be like, I'm going home. <laughs> Come back and do it. But for the most part, I'll do it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You get fucked up while you record often? No. No? Not to the point I want to, I can't rhyme or I won't do it. That's how, that's. Are there any tracks that you put out that where you actually, you weren't too drunk, but you were a little bit drunk and you laid it down and it came out hot and it's like, oh yeah, I was a little drunk when go, I did Go that. Rambo. Yeah? You ever go Rambo? I don't know if I have. <laughs> go Rambo. Yeah? <laughs> yeah. But it was so funny. The rhyme was so funny. FT, we should have you jump in. Yeah, you know?